Want to know how elite tax advisors win the due diligence game to satisfy ultra high net worth clients who expect the very best? Welcome to the Due Diligence Project Podcast, where you get a chance to learn from the elite CPAs, virtual family office professionals and tax specialists who are doing just that. We'll uncover their insider secrets on how they are dominating their competition, vetting new ideas and supercharging their due diligence process to deliver extraordinary results. Bringing his 25 plus years of experience with top tax professionals across the country. Please welcome your host, Alex Sunkin. All right. Welcome to the Due Diligence Project podcast. Today's guest, we're so excited to have her, Sherry Tolbert, who's an elite CPA, elite virtual family office with best-in-class peer-reviewed resources, serving ultra-high net worth business owners and families all around the country. Hi, Sherry. How are you today? I'm great, Alex. How are you? I am awesome. I've been looking forward to this podcast recording for so long because I I just want to... I want our audience to see your heart the same way that I see your heart, the same way that all your lucky clients get to see you uh, throughout the year. And so today is just a special day for us to, to have you here. So let's just get, get into it. And, and we want to dive into your heart, dive into your mind and, and find out what it is that makes it so special to be your client. Um, so let's just get started. Okay. Can you briefly Sounds describe good. what you do, the people you serve and the kind of situations they find themselves in when they come to you? Um, we do the typical CPA firm things, but mostly what we want to do is help people uh, maximize the results of their work. Uh, so many people are working really hard and having really good success, but they'd like to leave with that money rather than donating it to the government. Uh, and they would like to build something for their family, for the legacy. Uh, so we we help them. We we help them start off just getting situated, getting the structure, uh, making things simple and straightforward for them so that things are are being done the way they should be. And then once we get that situated, when when they have a nice amount of income and they're paying a fair amount of tax, uh, we look for strategies to help them maximize uh, what they get to keep and how they can use it going forward. You are so humble. It's just this is this already this I'm already having fun with the, with this interview and, and it's only been one question, but you are so humble. It's so so refreshing. You know, how have things changed since you got started in the business and tell us how you started, where did you start, and, and talk about how the industry and your profession has really evolved. Oh gosh. Oh, it started so long ago. Um it was, you know, paper and <laughs> uh, uh Everything was uh, very manual, uh, very uh, tedious, um, very task-driven, very compliance-driven. Um, and I've, I've been re- really fortunate over time to get in with good firms and good corporations that were really ahead of the game uh, to do the paperless, to do the automated transactions, to, to, to make everything streamlined and, and as uh, slick and beautiful as possible. Um, so you're, so one it's of the, a lot more you're, fun. you're one of those elite CPAs who've left uh, like one of the big name firms, one of the big eight. Yes. So yeah. you, you come from one of the big eight. I do. You, you don't want to be a W2 employee for the, the big firms anymore. I don't. Why not? Absolutely why, don't. why not? Why did you leave? Oh gosh. Um, oh, it's so fun to plow the field over and over and to be pulling the, <laughs> the plow, uh, getting your feet dirty all the time. No, it's just, you get to the point where you realize I'm as smart as, if not smarter than the people who are getting, who were uh, over me telling me what to do and making the money. And you realize, I've realized that my joy and my value was more in talking to the client, uh, getting to their heart, figuring out what it was they were trying to achieve and helping them get there. Um, everybody can take their turn crunching the numbers, but then if you're lucky, you get to move on. You know, really we, we're, we're so lucky to have so many big hearted elite CPAs and virtual family office professionals who, mm-hmm. who come from the, the big firms, the KPMGs, Deloitte, uh, the PWCs, the Andersons of the world. 
And those firms are wonderful places for elite CPAs and virtual family offices to start and, and, and get their get their learning done. And, and all of a sudden things are changing. We have technology now. Uh, we don't need big names on the door. Um, and really, really to build this community, it is really critical for us as a virtual family office hub to have people like you who are passionate with big hearts, who, who absolutely care about the client. I mean, you're not in this business for the money. Uh, you're in this business, I know that, to, sure. to deliver mass value clients. So, so what brings you the most joy, really, uh, in, from the business? And, and talk about that. Um, uh, brings me the most joy to see someone who's working really hard and feels like they're in the middle of chaos and they're not getting much out of their effort or not getting out of their effort what they'd like to. Um, and then switching that around for them, working with them to make them where they're the hero of their family, where they're accomplishing what they need to accomplish, where they have time to enjoy their family and they're a long-term blessing to their family by building a, a nest egg for them. It's awesome. And, and so let's talk about how it is that you deliver on that. Cause that's a, that's a big, that's a big deal, right? We're talking, that's a big thing that you just yeah. said. I mean, listen, well, we're talking making changes in families changing mm -hmm. their lives, maybe on a multi-generational level, uh, right. benefiting very affluent, successful business owners. You're saving them tax mm -hmm. dollars. They're using those tax dollars in the community, outside the community. Sometimes it benefits mm -hmm. charities. So you're right. doing a lot. Um, and, and obviously you're delivering results very different from, from your competitors. Okay. And I know you're very, very humble. We're not here to talk about how superior you are to your competitors, but let's talk about, you know, what it is that makes you so special. And one of those things I know is having a big heart, the motivation to really complete the due diligence. And let's talk about how do you do due diligence, uh, maybe versus, some of your competitors and, and let's talk about your due diligence because at the end of the day, your clients, they don't want to pay the tax, but they don't want to go to jail. And so no. they're really relying on you to analyze, you know, no one knows how many right. pages there are in the tax code, right? Tax attorneys are not allowed to solicit or market their tax planning strategies and the best attorneys are not necessarily, you know, right next door to you. So right. how do you find the best strategies and vet them out? And, and give yourself enough confidence to, to recommend them to your biggest clients? Well, how we find them is through the, the VFO hub, that through the work that you all do, because you all have gathered together some of the, the most uh, brilliant minds. But those people, we don't just have to take a white paper from them and go from that. We actually get to talk to them on a regular basis. We get to hear them present on a regular basis, and we get to ask them questions and call them with questions. The people that work with the VFO Hub and the Due Diligence Project, gosh, they're so accessible. Um, and, and no question is a stupid question, and they're, they're fine accepting questions from your clients, they're from their, your clients' attorneys, from your clients' next-door neighbor. <laughs> they, they all are, are, are confident and, and um, can go past just, just the actual rule of the law and actually work with these people's feelings. And that's what we, we're working toward is what do they really want as the result? What are they going to be comfortable with? Because we don't want to help them in a way that makes them nervous or, or feel like they're going to be audited or feel like they're, going, they're um, taking any risks because they, they, they don't want to take big risks. They, they, this is something that needs to be fairly secure. and um, and so Normal. you're, yeah. And so you, yeah. you, you really appreciate being able to work directly with these thought leaders and specialists, Absolutely. Ha having an opportunity to ask your questions, get those answers, take some time, formulate another set of questions. Cause every time we do a project for client, you know, we have third party attorneys, third party advisors, maybe third party accountants of your, of your clients, partners come in and look at a transaction. So due diligence never, ever stops with us. Does it Sherry? It never stops. No, we're always looking for, is there any chink in the armor? Is there anything that we need to present in a little bit better way or a little bit um, more tight 
presentation to make things go better. So, and also the, the people that we work with, the, the attorneys and the people who are helping work these uh, solutions, um, they, they constantly work to do better. They're looking at what the IRS is doing and what the IRS is looking at and just transforming the presentation, transforming maybe their approach in a way to make it more and more palatable to everybody. Well, they're competing, you know, well, they have to compete Mm -hmm. uh, just like, like a, like a service provider or product uh, provider on Amazon. They better compete because Amazon doesn't care, right? Right. Amazon just cares about what the customers want. And so if the customers stop liking a certain vendor and because another vendor is doing a better job, Amazon's going to be promoting who, who their community loves. And that's the same thing with us. Right. We're not married to our resources. We're married to our clients, which is elite right. CPAs and family offices. Okay. So our attorneys know that if they're not delivering the very best solutions, mm-hmm. we're going to find someone who is. And you know, one of the things yeah. that we really appreciate about you, Sherry, and, and, and really as a community, you know, we have a lot of amazing members, but you're not just a member. You're, you're participating on a lot of different levels. And not only are you taking from the community, but you can, you're contributing to the community. Uh, one of the things that you've contributed that you may or may not know about, I think you do know about, is you've introduced me to someone who's very special to me, Sia Cal, who is now a partner with us. And so you are the one that called me and said, Alex, you know, I need you to meet this guy. He, he really reminds me of you and he's really special. And so what I do, I reach out to him and we had lunch. We had a series of meetings. And because of that, because of you, we did due diligence on this person who is now part of. Fernandez Young International, what do they have? 38, you know, their offices in 38 countries. Uh, they have brought us a static international tax component. That's, you know, we have a lot of international right. tax relationships, but this is like a, a mm-hmm. static one that's like fully strategic partnership with us. But then right. they've also created a coaching program based on the leading coaching program for CPAs in the country where they've taken the concept of the VFO hub and the due diligence mm-hmm. project and they've added them together. And they're, they're using that coaching program to coach our VFOs, and we're also going to be coaching their elite CPAs and their elite tax people around the, around the world. Right. And that's because of you. So wow. thank you. Yeah. You're now, welcome. So talk about a little bit about your experience with SIA and, and why you saw the, the, a match between us. And Oh, that's, that's interesting. Yeah, um, I just knew that you had a heart for CPAs and – couldn't stand to see us toiling in, in with our sleeves rolled up and working a million hours and making, you know, non-comparable money. Um, and when I got to work with Sia, he had the very same heart. He really, um, it was very important to him to help train CPAs to do something different in order to bring the value that we have in a better way and something that improves our lives as well. So well, uh, just having that whole heart. Well, we really, we, we re- really appreciate it. I mean, and this is the key to what we do. You know, we're a community and, and it's, it's really important for us to have the best of the best of the best a a plus players, not just members, but resources. And this is how we work. We what by, by only having a plus a level members, they're introducing us to their favorite resources. Some of them have nothing to do with tax planning, like SIA. Um, yeah. And so, because we're a real community, like a family, you know, we are getting introductions of all these incredible resources. We get to vet them out. We get to introduce them to our community. So what do we do with SEA? We introduce them to our community, got some feedback, and now it's, you know, now it's real. Now we're customizing the program. So thank you. I want you to, I want to thank you. And our, I want to let our other members know that where this came from. And so we, okay. you know, we like to point away, it's not, it's not us, it's our community members. And in this case it happens to be you, Sherry. Well, um, tell us something that interesting about you that maybe your clients don't know about you. Oh, goodness. I don't even know. See ya? Um, about you. I guess no, about I like you. to travel. Okay. You like yeah, travel. about me. I like to travel. Is that the kind of thing you're looking for? Oh, you um, know what? Whatever it is, whatever. you know. I don't know. And I have a new puppy, so those are so you excitement have in puppy. my life. Yeah. What's What's your yeah. puppy's name? My puppy's name is Rizzy. Rizzy. See. Uh huh. That's information. We We This is the kind of stuff we want on, on the Due Diligence Project podcast. Your puppy's name has been released. The world now knows. Yes. So it's this important. is already. This is This is big. Everyone's going to watch this and go, "Wow." 
this is I got I got to tell my friends about the due diligence project podcast. <laughs> um, you know how important you think is curiosity to being an elite VFO, elite CPA? Oh my goodness! Oh, just have to be learning all the time, or you're going under. And and besides that, that's what really makes the um, the industry fun is if you're moving forward, just filling out forms is no good. Uh, it's boring. Most of us want to be learning and growing and doing the next great thing. And, and so that's one of the things that the VFO hub is so great about is the constant education and the constant interaction with the latest ideas. I mean, it's, it, it's hard. It's hard to balance the ego and curiosity, right? You know, you, you do, you know, you're able to go in and take care of clients' problems, reduce their taxes by 60% or more in certain situations, sometimes more than that, 70, 80%, depending on the situation. <laughs> You know, and yet you're still humble. A lot of people, when they create these unique results that their competitors don't even know how to do, their ego gets flared up. And all of a sudden, when the ego gets flared up, they think they know it all. And then the curiosity kind of comes down. It's, is it hard to manage the ego and the curiosity together as a professional like yourself? I don't know. I, I, I don't really care about the ego part. I just really want to help people. Yeah. And, um, I just love to learn. And so it's fun, it's fun to learn new things and be able to help people. And I, I think that's how most of the people that work with you are, Alex. We're, we're really there to help. And if we can also benefit our families and our lives, then it's just a great, it's a great match. Well, listen, Sherry, your clients are clearly lucky to have you. You know, what we, the reason we, we, decided to build the infrastructure, not investment banking infrastructure, but family office infrastructure with best in class peer reviewed resources. We think that's the structure of the future, not the mergers and acquisitions structures of investment banks right. in New York or right. fancy law firms or CPA firms or, or any other firms. You know, We see the future as being this virtual family office with best in class peer reviewed resources, part of this independent community of other elite CPAs, tax attorneys, other family office leaders. And so we just decided that the CPA has earned that right, that earned that leadership role, has earned that trust because of your hearts, because of your curiosity, because you're not, you're here for the right reasons and, and you prove it every single day. And it's really people like you that make our community what it is. You know, if we had a bunch of people with, with no hearts that only cared about making money, it would, it would yeah. be very different. Very it, it, yeah. Maybe it would look like Washington D.C. Okay, because I don't, I don't know, because a lot of those people, and I'm, and I'm not pointing it out, but I'm telling you, those people in Washington D.C. they're not former CPAs and virtual family office leaders. They're they're no, something they're else. Yeah. Yes. Um, and we we specifically were very very particular about how we're going to build this community out. Do we need tax attorneys? Absolutely. We are very very careful about selecting which ones and we're going to let our community decide just like Amazon lets their community peer review which tchotchke or book or product or service is going to get that five stars we let you guys decide which of our tax attorneys get that five star mark or whatever that is but um but but having your heart looking at these things with an eye for your client you know and having a bunch of independent people just like that this is what makes it work. Um, your clients are super lucky to have you. I'm super lucky to have you as part of our community. And I think uh, our audience really got, got a chance to uh, see inside your heart, see inside your mind, make what makes you tick. Do you, do you have anything, any parting words, uh, any thoughts you want to leave us with? Um, I'm just blessed to be able to work with you, Alex. It's great. The tools you bring to us and the support you bring and, um, and the community is amazing. It's a wonderful group of people. So just all in all and that and being able to benefit our clients, it, it's a great experience. So I appreciate you having me a part of it. Sherry, thank you for being part of our family and for being part of our community for everything you're sure. doing. We're only getting started, even though we've been working with together for many, many years, we're only getting yeah. started. And, and uh, congratulations to all your lucky clients for making such a good choice in their VFO oh. and CPA. Thanks so much. Have a great rest of your right. week. And thanks for joining us in the middle of your tax season, busy season. <laughs> Film this. Um, really, really cool. Thanks so much. All right. Thank you, Alex. Bye. That's all for this episode of the Due Diligence Project podcast. Be sure to visit diligenceproject.com to access the resources we have available for qualified CPAs and family office leaders. 
Our mission at the Due Diligence Project is to help you deliver more significance and value to your very best clients while shifting your traditional practice into the firm of the future.